The uranium spot price has just jumped up over $80 US per pound overnight, uh, and that provides a great backdrop for GTI to continue its, its activities in exploring and developing its uranium projects in Wyoming. So in Wyoming, we're in the Great Divide Basin and in the Powder River Basin. Our lead project, the Low Herma projects in the Powder River Basin, uh, about 10 miles away from Cameco Smith Ranch Highland, which is the largest US in situ recovery uranium plant. We're also very close to Energy Fuels uh, and uh, UEC, which is uh, UEC is the largest US uranium company, and just down the road from uh, UR Energy, which is currently producing in, uh, in, in the Great Divide Basin. So Wyoming has been a uh, uranium producing, producing state for many decades, and in fact, it's the largest uranium producing state in the US. A lot of the producers specialize in in-situ recovery mining, which is the lowest cost, lowest capex, cleanest form of uranium mining on the planet. So the drill program at Low Herm has been going well. We've had good weather uh, and been, we've been making good progress. Uh, we're getting to about the halfway point on that program. Uh, hopefully we'll have um, some results on it um, at some stage before Christmas. The drilling's uh, intended to help us to validate the historical resource uh, that we published back in June, and hopefully we can upgrade it into uh, some of it into Jork indicated, and also uh, to help us understand the possibilities along trend and also at depth for our uh, larger exploration program, which we would intend to undertake um, during the back end of next year. The geophysics has been uh, a, a pretty useful exercise for us at Green Mountain. We were looking for a bit more direction around where we might put the next lot of drill holes. So we've got historical drill holes in that project. Um, there's information from Kerr McGee and, uh, and Wald Nuclear, for instance, and some oil well holes. Uh, so we know there's uranium mineralisation there. What the geophysics has shown us is there's, there's about 12 miles of easily identifiable trend and there's uh, across about six anomalies. And so what that's uh, uh, given us is a really clear direction about where we might um, drill and find some success. So off the back of, um, of that information, we'll plan a drill program uh, and get it permitted in the hope that we'd be able to drill in the back end of next year. Um, there's pretty uh, exciting territory there. We've got Rio Tinto with some very significant deposits to the north and we've got uh, UEC and uh, UR Energy with deposits immediately to the south so uh, we think we're in a good spot. So the next things that you'll see from us are hopefully some drilling results in the next couple of weeks uh, and that that'll be the main thing before Christmas and then you know we'll work through uh, the drill targeting at Green Mountain and you know, it might be the new year that we come up with some um, drill targets and some permitting um, for that project and a, and a plan to drill it, um, as I said, probably in the second half of next year.